হ্যালো एवरीवन আশা করছি সবাই বেশ ভালো আছেন আবারো একেবারে নতুন ধাঁচের একটি প্রোগ্রাম কোপিং উইথ এনসিইউ 101 নিয়ে হাজির হয়েছে আমি হিমেল বিশ্বাস এটি এমন একটি অনুষ্ঠান যেখানে নর্থ সাউথ ইউনিভার্সিটির শিক্ষার্থীবৃন্দ সরাসরি কথা বলার সুযোগ পাবেন নর্থ সাউথ ইউনিভার্সিটির প্রশাসনিক কর্মকর্তাদের সাথে এবং আজ আমাদের মাঝে উপস্থিত রয়েছেন চিফ স্টুডেন্ট কাউন্সিলর মিসেস ফারিহা হারুন ম্যাম ম্যাম আপনি স্ট্রেস ফ্রি তো ছিলাম when i left home ekhon abar ekটু stress ta barchi in front of the camera amra dekhbo ashole jara student der counsel kore thake counseling diye thake tara koto ta ei onushthan ti khub dokkhotar sathe handle kore ma'am students ra kibhabe kore appointment nite pare okay one is either they can walk into the counseling center directly and make an appointment leave their name ID and a phone number and a counselor will get in touch with them. The second way is to the email. We have an email uh, counseling.center at northsouth.edu. If they send us the same details, the name, NSU ID and a phone number with WhatsApp, once again, uh, I will assign a counselor. A counselor will message them and fix a time for appointment. I don't like to pay for the counseling. No, absolutely not. This is a free service provided by NSU for its students. And uh, I must say, I joined uh, March 2021, and I was quite impressed that about 10 years before that, they had this center. So I think that NSU was way ahead of its time to have a counseling center about almost 11 years in existence. I don't think any other university has that, actually. Ma'am, what type of students do they come to the center? Right, so um, that was interesting because when I joined, I was also wondering what sort of students would come to the center. And usually it's between age range 19 to 29, including a lot of the master students. And um, there are students from all facets of Bangladeshi society. We have English medium, Bangla medium, Madrasa, from Fasal town, from you know big cities outside Dhaka, from Dhaka itself, from suburbs of Dhaka. I mean, it's amazing, like the range of students that North South has. And I'm quite happy because they all felt like they could access us, and they did, and they came, and we got a service, and we engaged with them. And not only I hope we helped them, but we learned a lot from them as well. I just want to know how do you define stress, anxiety, and phobia? Anything that stops you from functioning in your normal life. So. I can't define it. It's the student that comes to me that has to define it. It's not for me to give the definition, right? Because if I start putting it in a box, then I'm going to start eliminating a lot of students. So the way we work is we don't work on definition or parameter boundaries. It's just whatever the student feels is important to tell us, which aspect of their life they feel important enough to share, we start with that. And then we talk and we ask questions and we go back and forth, and then we try and understand what's really bothering them. I have a basic common problem I have seen. I have seen a great student who has a stressful life. So what do you think about this psychological solution? What do you think about a student who has a great power? কোনেক্টে স্ট্রেস কিংবা স্ট্রেসফুল লাইফ কিংবা অ্যাংজাইটির মধ্য দিয়ে যায় তখন এই জিনিসটাকে আসলে আমরা কিভাবে করে ডিফাইন করব স্ট্রেসিং অ্যাংজাইটি অ্যামংস অল দ্য স্টুডেন্টস ওয়াজ সিজিপি অ্যাংজাইটি দ্যাট ইজ ওয়ান বিকজ এনএসইউ হ্যাজ আ हायर সিজিপি গ্রেডিং দ্যান अदर ইউনিভার্সিটিস फ्रॉम व्हाट आई अंडरस्टैंड 93% ওয়াজ अदर ইউনিভার্সিটিস ইজ 90% সো डेफिनेटলি एवरीथिंग इज मच मोर टफर एट एनएसयू नाउ इज बीइंग इन अ टफ सिचुएशन बैड फॉर यू that's what you're asking. Yes, well, no, because that's how you learn. You have to have challenges in life to learn. Now, there are many facets to this. There's no one answer. It's also cultural. Like, a lot of students are actually defined by their grades. Oh, bhalo student chilo, bhalo student chilo na. Oh, parashana dabba mare, pare na, brilliant chilo. I mean, these are labels we put on children all the time. And so obviously they live with that stress because they, they are not identified as anything else when they're a student. Nobody says, oh, they're great at singing or they're great at extracurricular or they have such nice personalities or they look after their parents well. We negate every other aspect except the parashana aspect. So actually, I don't blame students if it becomes a psychological issue, but the, our society as a whole is very unkind to students. Okay, ma'am, what happens in the counseling center? The main thing is the students come, uh, the counselor receives them, uh, takes them into the room, has a session with them, uh, and then they come out. Hopefully it works. And if it doesn't work, they come back again and again until they start feeling better about themselves. And um, a lot of students are very nervous. They wonder where they should open up. So the interesting thing is um, a lot of them come with one problem that they've written about it, they've told us. But after a few sessions, or even within that one session, we find out that what they said initially is not what 
what the problem is. That comes out after a lot of question answer. So that's what I find quite interesting. So initially they'll come and say, oh, I'm worried about my grades and I'm worried about this, but then it's not that. Later on, as we go deeper and deeper, we find it's something completely different. Now, would you like to share some success stories of the students with us? We feel we have uh, attained a certain amount of success in the feedback that we get. Like we get students messaging us or emailing us saying, thank you so much, it helped a lot. And you know, we've overcome our problems and we feel great. And we, we do get a lot of thanks and a lot of appreciation. So that is a, so whatever you call success, but then there's always a new batch of students with problems coming in, right? So it's a constant, it's constant work. So if one lot goes and the other lot comes, then you work with the other lot, they go and then the other lot. So it's just continuous. Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, on a psychological tricks, uh, which students are mostly seen. So do you know this issue? A lot of it is pretty good, I would say, because they're experts who make, put out these videos. Uh, the issue is not the Facebook or social media. The problem is when you're accessing a site like that, there's no interaction, right? It's just one way. That person is just giving you tricks. But that person, obviously, since you haven't had a session with that person, they don't know you, you really don't know if that is the uh, solution for you. Right? So it's always better, I think, to go to someone where you can interact and engage. And then if you feel comfortable, then later on, you can always access Facebook or uh, uh, YouTube for study tips and you know meditation and exercise and the basic. They have a lot of good stuff on social media as well. University life to basically relationship build up or shampur ko bhanga gorar motho diye. To student re ishamoi tate onik khetre amra dekte pai break up hole onik bishe stress king ba suicidal attempt gular motho tara onik serious attempt niye thake. To e relationship per bishoy gula ke ashol apna re kibabe apna der center er madhome handle kore thake king ba apna re service diye thake. Onik ashe because of course don't forget jara ashe ita first time onik akla thakche without a guardian. Where everything was within a routine, nine to five, uh, whatever, eight to two, and then the parents used to pick them up, drop them. It was, so they had much less freedom. University is a freedom. So obviously they meet people, they uh, get attracted to them, and then it doesn't work. In many cases, it works also. So, yes, what we do is we try and guide them. First of all, my thing is since it's an educational institution that pays our salaries, our main thing is to make sure that their grades are not affected. Right, that they have to keep going to class. This is the main issue. This is what we actually, our thing is to help the North-South students, right? So, one. Two, and then um, in extreme cases, we call the parents. Actually, you'd be quite surprised uh, when we do call the parents, there's a lot of relief amongst everyone because it's not very easy for a child to hide things from their parents. They actually don't feel too good about it. So the minute the parents do come, and you'll actually find a lot of parents are actually very open. They actually want to participate in their child's life. They want to know what's happening. So whenever we've called the parents, actually it has worked because we find both parties um, have been quite relieved that they don't have to hide or they don't have to lie anymore. And then once the parents get involved, the student also feels that, that uh, he or she has some support at home, which they didn't feel at home, which they didn't feel before. And no, so far it's worked pretty well, calling in the parents. But I always believe that the family should be involved. So thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your time. It was a great conversation, I guess. So do you have any questions for us? Yes. Um, how do you all enjoy your holidays? What do you do in your free time? I have nothing to do. So what I do is I do pranks on my mom. <laughs> That's how I spend my time and I take care of my pet. Like I have a Persian cat. So that's how I spend my time. Semester break is as well for me because shabai semester break is ekhane ghurte jai bandurban amar basho okhane. So semester break je amar jonno onik kichu niye ashe bishoy ta amar jonno amon ta hoy na. Taay shabai jokhon semester break e bandurban je ami tokhon dhaka chole ashi abar basha theke bishoy ta amon ta ki. Hey, onik beshi crowded hoye je. Riddhi theke ekto shunte chai bo Riddhi. In my semester breaks, I usually like plan ahead. So what I want to do like next semester with subjects, so I, I tend to do that and I do a lot of traveling with family because that's the time when I get like enjoy the time with my family. Though whenever I'm in middle of the semester I can't do that, I do a lot of travel with my family. So what I do is I tend to sleep half of the time <laughs> because what happens is when classes are going on, I don't really get enough sleep, so that's what I do. Apart from sleeping, I tend to travel to Chittagong and different districts of Bangladesh. 
and since I love trekking and boat hiking, so I always like have a plan after like my semester ends that I would definitely go to a new place and explore. When I joined NSU, I realized that the, a lot of the students were telling me that it was difficult to make friends because of the open credit system. So they studied with um, a few people in a class and later on they didn't get them in the same class or they chose a different pathway and they, they didn't see those people again or you know they had to start all over again. And they, they said that making friends was one of the most difficult aspects of surviving in NSU. So how did you all approach that? It is true. I would say that um, making real friends um, in university is somewhat hard and difficult, but um, for example, I made friends because I was in different platforms. I was um, into clubs, so that's why uh, that is where I interacted with a lot of people and I got to meet them on a regular basis. So that's how we bonded over time. But apart from that, um, what happens is after a course is done, um, students really don't stay connected anymore. So that's why it is hard. I tend to, I think I'm an extrovert, so I naturally talk to people and connect with them. But when it's making friends, I don't actually think of I have to make friends. It just happens for me. So uh, clubs a lot, uh, clubs helps a lot. And when you are in class, you don't get to you know talk to your peers. But uh, after the class, we can maybe go to the canteen or interact or to know about the courses. So that's how I do things.